Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to do another esports focused video and talk about All Stars 2017 this year. Now, generally speaking, I have been a huge fan of All Stars. I think it's a good way to show how um, how interesting things can be. You get together the pros at the end of a long competitive year, you mash them up into weird teams, you have them play stupid game modes. It's a lot of fun, and it should be. It's the end of the year. We're done caring about games. We already know who the world champion is. Why do we care how well the teams do against each other? Let's see the pros do tandem League of Legends. Let's see the pros do a 1v1 tournament. Let's see the pros playing something really stupid like Earth. That's a lot of fun to watch, and it's a good way to have a low-pressure end-of-year tournament that keeps fans interested, but that's not viewed as mandatory viewing for people to watch. So, as you might have known if you're thinking about All-Stars in the format this year, I am very disappointed in how Riot have handled All-Stars this year. The biggest thing for me is that All-Stars was never about competitiveness. It was never about who's, which dream team is better than the others, because it's not about constructing a good team. Fans are voting to see their favorite pros perform on stage with other of their favorite pros. I'm not necessarily going to be voting for a team I think is going to be best. I'm voting for, let's say, Bjergsen, for example, because I want to see Bjergsen play on stage with the best of the NALCS. I'm voting for Faker because I want to see Faker play with the best of the Korean region. I don't really care about constructing a good team. I just want to see the pros do what they do best. And so I think that ultimately the shift of mindset from let's just have fun with this to we're going to be uber competitive is a huge mistake. And I'm not a big fan of how Riot have handled this because it should never be something that's incredibly competitive and that people really want to see the Koreans do well or North America do well because that was never the focus of the tournament. That was never the draw of the tournament. I honestly have no interest in watching All-Stars at all because I know that there aren't any fun game modes. There isn't anything interesting. It's just Korea versus North America versus Europe versus Brazil, etc., etc. in yet another tournament. But this one is utterly meaningless. There's no, there's no drama attached to it. There's no interest. Even if Korea wins or even if North America wins, it doesn't feel like an actual win because it it doesn't mean anything. They don't get anything for it. Sure, they can say they won All-Stars, but at the end of the day, that's an empty title. It doesn't mean anything for the players winning it and for the people watching it. The second thing is that this is a time of year where people are basically trying to take a break from League of Legends. The competitive season has wrapped up. We know who the world champion is. Let's just relax and enjoy some fun games, not have to worry about who's winning. And I'm sure the players are echoing the same sentiment, especially given how long the season normally goes. The biggest issue is that they have very, pros have very limited free time to kind of rest and recuperate and spend some time not playing League of Legends for a change, maybe taking some time off to relax, visit family, talk with friends, just spend some time away from the game. The problem is, if you get voted into All-Stars, well, now you spend a lot more of your already limited free time playing more League of Legends. Now, it's alright if it's a fun tournament, because you're not really thinking that hard. Sure, you're still on stage, but hey, at the end of the day, it's All-Stars, it's for fun, who really cares? But with the, more, the focus on more competitive games, they don't have that luxury. There's a coach voted in for the team now. Teams are playing to win. There are no fun game modes. You have to be trying hard. And so it, it ultimately leads to pros potentially getting even more burnt out. Bjergsen, for example, will have very little time to recuperate before he goes into his next competitive season. So he may be perform worse because he had to be at All-Stars. Uh, there's also been talk of All-Stars uh, not being paid. Basically, the players and the casters and the coaches aren't paid to participate in All-Stars. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, it's another reason why All-Stars should not be competitive. If you're going to be telling your players and coaches and casters that they need to be bringing their A-game for a competitive tournament, you need to be compensating them right. And, all, and with all respect, you need to be compensating them. So... Those are just my thoughts. I would love to have All-Stars returned in 2018 to a more fun, lighthearted competition. That's what people want to see. That's why I watch All-Stars, and that's why I know a lot of people watch All-Stars. And it just makes more sense for the player base as well. So, I urge Riot to reconsider how they've been treating the event this year, and to maybe think about going back to its roots as a more for fun area. Anyways, those are my thoughts, as I said above. Please go ahead and let me know what you guys are thinking of All-Stars down in the comment section below. If you guys prefer the competitive format, go ahead and let me know. Drop a comment down below. If you agree with me, though, 
you know, leave that, leave that as well. Let's get a conversation going. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoy the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for more Grab the Lantern content, you can check out my blog, grabthelantern.tumblr.com. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later.